for round one of Coffee Talk. And boy, you can feel it now, can't you? Summer mm. vacation in full swing for a lot of kids across the country. Lest we forget the teachers, by the way. Many of them enjoying a much-deserved break, too, as they continue to face new challenges in the classroom, including more and more students, the teachers say, showing up at school high. Uh, well, that's great, at least according to New York City teachers, as reported by the New York Times. And this issue seems to be an issue across public, private, and charter schools, too. The Times used data from the New York City Department of Education to show a, there, indeed, there has been a 10% increase in the number of drug and alcohol related offenses in the educational system wow. in New York City in 2023 compared to the latest figures they have from 2019. New York State, it's worth noting, legalized recreational marijuana in 2021, but teachers say that students are struggling to handle the effects and the fact that it's so readily available on a widespread basis. And here's what a lot of teachers focused on when they talked to the Times. They said, these vape pens, the vape pens, they're so easy to get. And then just as importantly, if not more importantly, they can really be easily used quickly, as in literally a teacher turns around to do something on the board and you take a quick hit off the vape pen. And then the teachers, the poor teachers are left to try to determine are, is this just a typical teenager with sleep deprivation? Are there personal issues at home or are they high? And correct me if I'm wrong, I probably am, but these vape pens don't smell as much, right? So then if, if you're drunk, you can usually smell it. Usually right. when I think of people being high, you can usually smell that, but these vape pens just take that away. I think the cannabis is is more perceptible in the eyes a lot of times and and actions, whereas you know uh, mumbling words and the smell with alcohol. But I mean, right. to be honest with you, I think you have to step back and say these are not things teachers are supposed to have exactly. to deal with. Exactly. Well, they're they're exactly. supposed to be focused on educating and making sure everybody's understanding and not have to deal with well, is he high or is he drunk? Or is she high or is she drunk? Or does and she's not should care. I turn them in or right. should I not? That's distracting from the teaching aspect of what they're supposed to be doing. Mm -hmm. So um, you know, I hate to be cliche, but it kinda all goes back to parents eventually, right? right? Yep, and but you don't get to choose awful. those. No. You don't get to choose your own parents. No. You gotta understand that everybody no. has a different situation in their house. But it's also very difficult. It's very easy to blame it on parents. Yeah, right. Um, there are a lot of factors at work. No doubt. Stick around, we're gonna talk about this more on today's Great Day Extra Live. GDXL is what we call it. it kicks off on Great Day's Facebook page about 10:15 this morning. So we hope you can join us and chime in. GDXL is brought to you by the Bomberito Automotive Group. This kind of